Let's let's invite J. Akshay Reddy, electrical technician. Yeah, uh, we would like to uh, invite Mr. Akshay Reddy, who secured All India 15th rank in uh, electrical engineering. Picture. He is uh, one of the bright, bright uh, minds in our home institute. And uh, so, uh, please ex explain your journey with home and also your, about your preparation strategy. Hello, everyone. Uh, good morning. Uh, good afternoon. <laughs> uh, good afternoon. <laughs> See, first of all, I would like to thank my mother because she used to guide me every time. Uh, whenever I was in the, I used to have any dilemma, she used to guide me and advise me. <coughs> Secondly, home institute. <laughs> See, I did uh, nothing more. I just listened to the classes and saw the handouts. That's it. Not even any test series. I would like to thank uh, Gautam sir and uh, Giri sir. Sir, <laughs> they are like uh, a big brother to me. <laughs> and Surendra sir, Shinkar sir, they are very disciplined. Ijad sir, sir, you are a diamond sir. <laughs> <laughs> sir, communication sir. I love it, I love it sir. Communication. Yes, sir. Please. Everyone scared me, sir. If I, uh, when I said I would like to prepare this, yeah, communication is very difficult. Uh, but uh, I loved it a lot, sir. Especially. And uh, hey, one, sir. <laughs> hey, one, sir. I learned to explore everything, not only studies, everything I learned from. That's it. Thank you. Uh, no, sir. I didn't, I didn't attend any You did not attend any placement. So, in your college uh, days itself, you decided the you go for higher yes. studies. Okay. So at that time, did you think about MTech in electrical engineering or MTech in VLSA? No, electrical engineering. Electrical engineering. Because at that time, you were not aware. so much aware of this opportunity in VLSA. Not only opportunity, sir. Mm. I like analog a lot, sir. After mm. listening mm. to your classes in the home issue, I get to know what is analog. Okay. So, not so much interest in analog. And after that, power electronics. First analog, then power electronics. Okay. So when did you so when did you actually start preparing on a serious note? This so, year, No, no. For uh, get in electrical engineering. 2020. 2020. Of course. But I think uh, 2020 was the COVID year, right? Mm -hmm. First COVID year. So there was a lockdown, everything went online, but still you managed to prepare. So did you get confidence after listening, classes, uh, after listening to classes online, etc. So where do well, you thought you were at what level? Like let's say before get 21, not this year get, before get 21 itself, you must have made some self assessment, right? No, okay, sir, I didn't um, uh, any assessment. You like did not make any assessment. Uh, the first time rank was very big, 7,000. Okay. So, uh, I didn't 7, have 7,000. 7,300. 2020, sir. One second, one second. Actually, you applied your uh, GATE exam. 2020, sir. 2020. So, that was at the time of completing your BTEC. So, at that time, what was your this thing, rank? Uh, 7,000, sir, my rank was. Actually, I prepared uh, mm. a lot, sir. Uh, mm. Mm. Reading barely 10 hours, mm. really like that. Mm. But I don't have that much conceptual lesson. I joined coaching in some other place. Okay. So I don't have that much concepts. Oh, okay. So after that, you joined home. Oh, um, but then came the COVID thing. Ah, yes. So everything went on. online. And then came get 21. Yes. Sir. So 21, what was your rank? 421. 421, which was a decent rank. Yes. Sir. Yes. So you must have applied yes, at IIT. some IITs, no? Did you get admitted anywhere? Yes, sir, I got admission in IIT Delhi. IIT Delhi. In what specialization? Power systems. Power systems. So why didn't you? Actually, I don't it? have uh, no. rank satisfaction. Like uh, I could mm. do better. Mm -hmm. So you felt you could do much better. Much better. So that's okay. why problem was. Mm. Like so this time, uh, mm. I was very bored, like uh, reading same subject. Mm. So, I was like... Uh, mm. Because already he has done his uh, preparation quite well. There is no 
kick him so going through the same thing. thing, you know, all over again. So he decided to do something new. So he started preparing for easy. Luckily, they gave I mean two papers. Two papers like eligible to offer. So it, I am guessing it was during that time that you decided that you will try out in VLSI and not in electrical. Okay. So being an electrical engineering student, how was it like studying all the core EC subjects? Which, so what, what, was it not the first time that you were reading those subjects? Take EDC, take communication. So electrical guys will actually love to learn EDC and uh, communication. Mm. Totally different, no, sir. They will actually mm. will give so much interest. Like uh, they will get bored reading same subjects in power transport. So uh, for electrical guys who are preparing for uh, second attempt or third attempt, you can actually prepare for EC also. It won't be much uh, difficult. EMTL transmission be very easy. Sir. Mm. Interesting. And all are all are completely based on physics only. It's not that you are learning something completely new. So, other basic knowledge, then anybody can go on to learn communication. EMTL also very easy, sir, because uh, EMF find uh, transmission. Ex extension of EMF. EMF find okay. transmission. So, how much time it took for you to be confident about EDC? I mean, EDC is a new subject, right? It's not that you start learning EDC right from day one onwards, you start feeling like a king now. Uh, no. But at some point down the line, you will get the, okay, now I understand EDC. I can solve any problem. Actually, I started uh, my profession very late in the month of September. September. I started. So, mm. I got that conference in the month of January. Yeah. Like that. See. What if you had started immediately after the GATE result was out? Then you would have got so much time yes, to revise everything. But this year, that could not happen. So I think uh, that is the reason why you did not get a not rank like that you deserve in EC. Actually in EC, he would have easily got a single digit rank. Uh, easily. Like that. No, no, I have seen many people in the last 5-6 years who got single digit ranks, including first rank. So I know what their concept level is, what their problem solving skill is. So Akshay, even in this room, Akshay, Naveen, Raghav Reddy, Vishnu, Indrasana Reddy, there are many students. See, I know these, uh, these people personally. So I can, I mean, without doubt, say that these people are more or less at the same level as those single digit rankers. So, single digit rankers are not from a different planet. <laughs> so, they also know the same subject that we do. But only thing, on that day, things will work for them. And for us, they did not work as much as uh, they could have. Like I was very excited, sir, after writing electrical paper. So the day before EC, he has written electrical. electrical. So he has done extremely well in electrical. I think out of 65, you called me and said 63 attempted. But then I told him, even if you attempt 63, it doesn't mean 63 will be right. I'm sure <laughs> many questions you would have made a mistake, but he did not agree. No, no, I <laughs> solved everything that. But in the end, you got how many? 80. Actually, sir, said that mark. I, I think uh, you will get around uh, 84 to 85. Yeah, no, sir. No, no, I will get 95 plus. plus, like <laughs> that he was telling. But uh, anyway, you got 84. Yeah, but actually, everyone will do that mistakes, even first time. You see, I tell you very honestly, as an institute, definitely we are I mean, we have some level of obsession with single digit ranks because, you know, in the market, there are many factors. People get influenced by the so-called top rankers, including first rank. But I have seen many people who secure first rank without even having the basic knowledge of ADC. So knowledge is one thing and rank is another thing. So admit there will be many instances where a person getting a top rank may not be very strong in basics. Okay, there will be a few instances where people are good with basics and also they end up getting a top rank. But there are many cases in the other direction also where people get a good rank but they are not so <coughs> strong. I mean the rank does not really reflect their standing in terms of the conceptual understanding of the subject. So don't confuse these two things. But as institutes, we, see, we cannot say that our students have learned 
so much uh, you know so many things they have so much knowledge nobody will care they will only ask what 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 rank your students got so we we only speak through the ranks that our students get so that is why we we are a bit more particular about getting ranks we being an, a young institute see we are not new to teaching we have been teaching for quite some time in fact 2015 16 17 during our time in all our respective subjects we have set new standards those are the benchmarks in terms of teaching okay now a lot of new faces have come up and they are trying to replicate with some little success here and there but by and large in 2015 16 17 itself we set some standard for every subject this is the level up to which it can be taught like that but we as an institute okay we are focused about our students getting a top rank so we push as many students as possible into top 10 but not everything is completely in our hands right i mean we don't write the exam we can only do so much but the rest is completely up to you and also there is a luck factor yes even if you are very well prepared you know how to solve any kind of problem but let's say that day is not your day then definitely you won't get what you deserve so it can be one of those days as well but what we cherish okay we we care about the rank we are anxious about what rank our students are going to get but once we get the rank or whatever rank we get we, we have to accept it be it an institute like us or students once they get the rank they should accept it now it's up to the students to build on whatever knowledge they have gained and whatever get preparation get uh, rank they have obtained and we as an institute cherish the journey see we taught students right i mean i personally taught edc analog circuits electric circuits so i have seen people before my class and after my class the change in confidence level so it is those things that will stay in our memory for a long time rather than just the rank and it is this journey that we will always cherish forever and akshay reddy is a unique student in the sense that even though he is from electrical he has the courage that you know no i can learn the ec core subjects the confidence came from him okay feeling faculty interest yes we we play only a big part role we are not everything right even though we try to motivate everyone not everybody gets motivated even the student has has to have some internal push or desire so that you had and patience yes sir commitment and patience. commitment patience and these are key things in life which will ultimately make you successful so akshay reddy despite being from electrical background he has learned all the ec subjects to the level which is way more than what the so called ec top rankers are normally at see if you not not this not this group of people you get ec people from other institutes so let's say they are in top 10 or top 20 extremely glorified on youtube top or top or top or you bring those students and i will make akshay sit with them i will ask simple edc questions he will be able to answer that is the confidence with which everybody has to come out of home so this home in your you know academic career it's like a major milestone so up to home you will have one you know one level of academic uh, skill or academic background but after om you should take it to the next level so om is like the entry to iit so even if you go into iit you should not struggle i have seen many people in iits who come with uh, you know top ranks but still they struggle in every course and that is purely because they lack lack the basic knowledge and also the way of applying the knowledge towards designing things like vicky was telling exhaustively in the morning having basic knowledge is one thing but being able to apply in different scenarios is a different thing so for that you, you should have that mindset you should be able to think about the subject so it is these things one will focus more on see in fact okay he was saying about where well, let's say a lot of us here are interested in 
real SI. See, for real SI, it is not just analog. Or you should be good at analog. You should have some minimum devices knowledge. You should be good at communication. You should have a sound knowledge of uh, signals. Because see, in real SI, many people will get into this interface circuit design, data converters, yes. especially delta sigma, yes. or the SAR ADC. Everything requires what? Knowledge of signals and systems. So it is these subjects that will lay the foundation for the rest of your career. And I believe Akshay has learned these basic subjects really well. And I sincerely hope even in MTech, he will do an outstanding job. See, I am challenging every home student, once he joins MTech, he should be a nine-pointer. We are the ambassadors of home. You get that? Yes, every semester, you should be at the top two or top three. And it is easy to do it because you are so good in you know the basics. It can be easily done. Okay? So on that note, let us wish Akshay all the very best. Thank you, sir. And hope you have serious goals and work sincerely towards them. Have a goal. Always in life, you should have goals. Various types of goals. Okay, time to time, you should have goals. That is very important. Only the goals will drive you forward. And like Vicky, look at his passion. Vicky spoke almost for one hour. Look at his energy level. So he was not speaking from his mind. He was speaking out of his heart. That is his passion towards the subject. So have, be, have that passion. Yes, be hungry. Only then you will be different from the rest. Otherwise you will be like, just like any, anybody else. There will be thousands of engineers. You'll, you are just one among them. Nobody will care about you. Okay, if not, if not him, somebody else will do the same job. No. Even if you even if you, even if you go into industry, in your company you should have a unique plus. Okay, Navin means okay, he is good at this thing. The brand has to be there. Identity. Always try to have an identity. And you will develop an identity only if you have some special ability or special skills. And that is something you get through hard work and passion and commitment, patience. Nothing is easy. Just because you get into VLSI, it's not that you, they, they lay a red carpet and you just have to walk straight on it and get a placement. No. Every course, there will be a struggle. Yes or no, Vicky? Yes, Nothing is easy. Assignments will be there. Yeah. See, up to be, before MTech, up to MTech or during BTech, it's about learning things. But MTech, you learn things by doing. Yes. That is the difference between MTech and BTech. BTech, you just learn things. Okay, this is how it is. But MTech means nobody will explain. Don't expect that someone like me will come and break it down completely for you, each and everything. No, nothing they will teach. If this is the syllabus, they'll teach this much. Rest all you have to learn yourself. So you have to learn things by doing. Digital. Digital is extremely important. The, the amount of scope in digital VLSA is immense. But you should be strong in digital. Being able to solve, get digital problems is one thing. Being actually good in digital is a totally different thing. Even if you observe, Hyman sir, he has focused very much on the sequential part. And all that sequential part will be useful in your digital way of That is the base. Member systems, nobody cares. <laughs> Combinational, nobody cares. I am telling you openly. Yes. So whatever we teach here, it is going to be really helpful in, your, in all your future endeavors. Okay, Shai. Thank you, Steve. Thank <laughs> you.